My name is Claudia, and today we're going to cover an easy way to update price list into SAP Business One. So without a data transfer workbench, you will be able to run the entire uh, sales update price easily just using SAP Business One client and Excel. We will do it in two steps. One step will be to um, use a custom query that we usually leave in every uh, implementation that we do. Uh, if you are not a current Celeritex client, just send us an email at hello at celeritex.biz and we will more than happy to send it to you. So basically we will use this custom query to make sure um, that all the fields that we need are in the right format. Um, so you can run the second step, that is use an SAP Business One feature, fully embedded, not only in SQL, but also on HANA, where you will be able to import any data from an Excel sheet. So let's get started. Okay, give me one sec. Let me share my screen. Okay, so here it is uh, my environment in SAP Business One HANA. And basically what you need to do is go into a query manager. We have our uh, custom query just right here in general. Click price list. It will pop up all the um, price list that we have available in this database. I will choose any, let's say distributor. We run it and easily we will see um, all the items for this special price list that we choose. The uh, currently price and, and the currency. So if we go into uh, this yellow arrow, we will be able to see all the, um, the price lists that are available. Just click on it and then you will um, see all the items with the base price and how the distributor sales price is calculated. Basically, it takes the base price and uh, multiply it by this factor. So we can get this uh, this you know sales price attached to this special uh, sales price. If we go into the item, let's say um, again, we will use this yellow arrow. We can click on it, and it goes directly into the item master data. Uh, for this item in particular that pertains to uh, this item group. I have this drop down list where I, where I have all the price list and the pricing associated to each one. For example, this base price is $500. If we go to the discount price, the pricing changes. Distributor, which is the one that we're going to use for this uh, session, is $6, $625. So all of these are created by, um, by, by a user. So in each implementation, we are going to see, or in each company, we're going to see a different sales price. But there are two that are automatically created by SAP. Last purchase price and last evaluated price. So every time that you add a new item in the inventory, this uh, last purchase price is the item is created and updated automatically. And the last by SAP Business One. And last evaluator price is, um, is a, a price list that SAP also creates and updates automatically every time that you do an inventory uh, valuation of this item. So uh, basically, what we need to do is, and this is a trick um in a tip that SAP added just a few years back in SQL and on HANA as well. So you uh put the cursor every uh in every place of this uh desktop, right click, copy table. 
right click, copy table. And you go into an Excel. And it quickly springs all the information that we have in this um, in this query or report. So from here, you will be able to update easily and fast any price that you need to. For this um, as for this session in particular, I'm going to update only one price to make it easily. So for this item, that it's the one that we uh, showed you before. So I'm going to change it to 777. Uh, and we can also leave anyone um, in blank. It's important for you to know that we can't use a zero amount. We need to leave it in blank. Um, and uh, you can also add it any information around additional currencies that you want to use by each item. So for instance, in this case in particular, I'm using an American dollar, but we could add any other uh, currency to this sales price. Up to three um, currency prices are available for this uh, sales price. So that being said, uh, once we complete all the information, then what we need to do is just copy without the header. So we do not add the header. Copy, create another one, and then save it as a TXT. Okay, press this. So once we have this, we just need to go into SAP, Modules, Administration, Data Import, Data Import, Import from Excel. From here, which is, you can actually use the same um, route to import and update information for business partners, items, price list, uh, and any other. So for this case, uh, which is price list, first price list and item number, uh, you can create a template if this is something that you uh, will do often. I'm not, I'm just uh, gonna leave it like that for now. Import, choose the text file that we just created, open. and import it. And once imported, SAP is going to give us uh, some results. So basically everything should be um, okay. I'm not going to save this recording for, for now, but I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to check all the prices. See that before this update, this SKU, uh, has for this price list $625. If I now go in and check the distributor sales price, now we have the 777, which is the price that we updated in the spreadsheet. Um, well, so basically, uh, I hope that you found this uh, session useful and informative and please don't forget to uh, follow us in our youtube channel every single week we uh, publish uh, different tips and tricks that will be useful for you um, to use it while you're running sap business one thank you and have a good one